Potatoes and pasta. I began by dicing guanciale, the cured pork cheek, and rendering its fat in a deep pot. And this is a dish for which I found a lot of recipes with slight variations. Some were all vegetarian, some asked for a pancetta, some only used onion and celery without the carrot. But I think this highlights the fact that this dish is meant to be made with whatever is available and is a comforting home-style cooking at its core. When the sofrito was thoroughly cooked, I added potato, which I diced into small cubes. And while that was cooking, I prepared the pasta, which I learned is meant to be essentially a combination of all the little bits of leftover pasta that you have. Everything gets cooked together in the same pot so that as the potato and pasta are cooking, they're releasing their starch to make a very creamy final texture. When everything was finally cooked, I add some diced provolone off heat just before serving. It's very tasty.